there is simplicity and there is chaos. And simplicity is boring and chaos is totally uh, uninforming. And right there, that line between simplicity and chaos is complexity. And I think that's the wonderful place that this piece exists in. And if I can find that place for the light, or the ideas in the light, just as Tricia has found it for the ideas in the movement and the, and the layers of movement, and just as Bach has in the layers of music, then I will consider myself very lucky. There is one very long phrase that was taken from the thematic phrase that um, I gave Diane the instruction to alter the speed of the phrase and to take it out into space. And in so doing, she arrived at a finished improvisation that looks like a dancer looking for her gestures, looking for the dance, which is a metaphor for me looking for my way, me as an abstract choreographer uh, looking for her position, modern to Baroque, in uh, cooperation, collaboration with uh, Mr. Bach, um, sometimes lost, um, certainly came into it not knowing what I was doing, um, uh, going through periods of, of um, uh, just, inten just intense thinking and research on what the direction should be um, of, of the next, from everything, from the next move to the next movement to the total piece. It's a classic relationship of the solo performer and the chorus. And I'm a little uneasy about that because I work with more fractured and contemporary forms ordinarily. I know there are many delicate things I could do with that clump of people, 
I could do anything with them. They could divide in half and go into counterpoint with each other, but a single figure within that group could rise and, and um, go into unison with the solo figure. But things more delicate than that, that would, it would take me a long time to, to, to tune it, but I could get that. But I'm resisting doing it. It's just something about this large block of humanity in a, a very subdued form sometimes interacting with the solo figure quite by accident and other times not. What does it mean to you personally, that dance? Do you have a strong emotional connection with it? Uh, well, I'm this tuning instrument. I, well, the first time I saw it, I was very moved by it. And I've been interested in that relationship of meaning and not meaning in, in ostensibly abstract forms. that are, I put those two, two entities into action. But what were you moved by? I don't know. That's the interesting thing. I don't know, but I'm choosing to keep that kind of material now. But what was the feeling, though, that you had? There's a very warm sadness and um, uh, something about the human condition, the human... Did it remind you of another, any other feeling in your life that you've had before? I don't connect it up with a specific event or feeling, no. Sorry to disappoint you, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Just Dancing Around tomorrow evening at 7.30 presents a personal portrait of the English choreographer Richard Alston.